everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new speed build, this time doing some university style housing. So this is gonna be a university townhouse for the Foxbury Institute. It's based on a 20 by 15 lot in Brightchester or Brichester. I don't actually know how you pronounce that. I would probably say it was Brightchester, but you know, who knows, I've no idea. And the total cost is 112,000 simoleons, but that won't actually matter to your students who actually pay a set budget to live in university housing. So, but that's how much the whole bill came to in the end. So I've not actually properly played with university as yet. I did actually start a new sim last night and I've binned off the 100 baby challenge now after five babies. I've just had enough of toddlers. So I decided to create a new sim and do the whole university thing because I've said it loads of times before, but I always think as a builder, you should actually play the game as well because it gives you a better understanding of, you know, how to build things, where to place things and what to include in builds um so this actual university housing is going off very limited experience but i did actually i basically went off um you know where you get the options to pick whether it's a residential lot or you know in this case university housing i just made sure it had everything checked on that list so instead i decided to go for a kind of three studio apartments in one house so each floor represents a new apartment and it's just basically a huge shared house um so the very top floor in the very very at the last minute i had to add another bed so i made the top floor into a double kind of double bed apartment now <laughs> Everything went really well with this build and I actually really enjoyed building it. I started building an, a kind of London inspired townhouse a long time ago and I never got around to finishing it. And then as soon as I came into this world last night, I knew that I wanted to build it again and you know see what I could come up with. Especially because I'd just sent my sim off to university and as soon as I got there, I was like, okay, I'm gonna need to do some building here. <laughs> because I can't live in this house, it's awful. Um, but actually, much thank you to Hey Harry, she has done an absolutely amazing house um, in the form of university housing, so I ended up downloading that to play in, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'm gonna have to get on and get some kind of university housing done so that I can actually play in it and enjoy it. So with this particular build, I decided to do three kind of very self-contained studio apartments per floor. And within those apartments, I wanted The Sims to have absolutely everything that they would need for university life. And it wasn't one of those builds that has, you know, the very messy student kind of look. It wasn't a kind of grungy place because it was built for the Foxbury Institute and it was like this really fancy London townhouse I imagine that the interior was like really quite posh as well and I've built this with you know it's kind of like a ready to move in university housing where once you're in it you can make it your own as opposed to me already adding personality and characters into each one of the kind of apartments so within each of the studio apartments, I included things like kitchens, bookcases, a place to sleep, dining tables, there was like TVs, uh, fireplaces, and there was just literally everything. And everything was going brilliant with this build because I thought a really good thing would be to have like three self-contained apartments but then have a shared bathroom because a lot of the time in shared houses i've lived in a shared house before as well is you do tend to share the bathroom so initially when i did the floor plan in this house i accounted for one bathroom in the middle floor 
And um, as I was building, I did the entire build, I did the entire bottom floor, and then I thought, you know what, I'm actually going to add in, you know, like redo the floor plan and add in like a little bathroom in each of the apartments as well. That way they don't really have to share, they can have like one big communal bathroom and then obviously have like their little self-contained showers within their apartments or something along those lines. Well, that's what I wanted to do, but apparently, according to The Sims, that's not what I was allowed to do. <laughs> so, I tried to readjust my floor plan, and I was able to delete the walls, but I wasn't allowed to add any because of some sort of bug. So, I was searching The Sims forums, and there's actually somebody called Crin. He's very, very good at solving, you know, he solves a lot of bugs for The Sims 4. And I was looking everywhere for posts, and it, I think the error message was something like, can't connect blocks from different levels, or something like that. And there was a few workarounds for it, but... In order for me to kind of trace back round walls and do everything that I needed to do, it just would have meant undoing so much of the work that I already did. So then I thought, well, you know what? I can get away with it. <laughs> it's university housing. This is not, you know, this isn't five-star living. They're going to have to share a bathroom. <laughs> so there was one family bathroom in this house. Now... I did try numerous things, but I didn't try changing the lot that this house was based on, so I don't know whether if you downloaded this house, if you would be able to amend the walls, but there was one bathroom in it, um, <laughs> but it was very small, so if there was any downside to this build, that would be it, but to be fair, there's only really four people that can stay in this house anyway, so to share one bathroom is probably not a big deal, it probably is, but I'm just going to say it's not. <laughs> So it was actually a lot of fun to do this particular build because obviously it's not in a style that I ordinarily do, but it is in a style that's very familiar to myself being a Brit because we have these kinds of houses, not only in London, but up and down the country. So it is a very kind of familiar style house. And I do quite like it. It has this very sort of... Um, posh feel to it <laughs> like very prestige sort of looking building um and they are actually really beautiful in real life as well they're just they have very high ceilings and there's you know kind of on the interior the decorative look of a townhouse is just absolutely beautiful it's really really nice architecture so it was a lot of fun building this one i must admit i would have preferred just a little bit more outdoor space just to kind of play around with but as far as townhouses go you know there really isn't a lot of space on the outside in real life so I didn't really feel too bad but it just would have been nice to have just a little bit more space so I did go ahead and go into the debug menu and pick loads of items there which was really fun because I've not actually been in the debug menu since the release of all these extra expansions so finding things like this wall ivy and you know other bits and bobs it's it's always nice to see new things that you've not used before that come in handy when you're doing building so that was quite good but I hope you're all having a fantastic week and you know I can't believe it's weekend it's Friday already and I am just so excited. We have had such an emotional roller coaster of a week. I can't go into like too much detail but quite a lot has been happening behind the scenes and I'm very very excited. So we've had so much going on at home and it's been great, but it's been really good to be back in The Sims as well. I think I said this in my last video that I feel like time is actually flying because I feel like I have purpose, <laughs> purpose to my days. But what I will say is that in January, I decided to do like this new year, new me thing, you know, like everybody else in the world does. And I was like, you know, I'm going to get nice and fit and healthy. I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to eat clean. The whole works. Now, in January, I was really ill with a chest infection, which quite thankfully has 
pretty much gone now. I've just got the tiny little bit left on my chest, but I think that's allergy related if I'm honest. But anyway, so I was really ill all January and I was able to stay on this clean eating, healthy sort of living style really well. But the downside to it was I couldn't do any exercise with it because I was just so poorly. So I was really, really desperate to just get better so that I could start exercising and just kind of, you know, really hit it big time and <laughs> go for that summer body, which I don't think I'm ever going to have. <laughs> anyway, so this week has been quite stressful and there's been a lot going on. So... I've sort of slipped off the diet a little bit and, well, actually quite a lot, okay, quite a lot. So yesterday, I ended up having like cream eggs and I don't know how it happened. It just sort of happened over the last couple of days. And I thought to myself, this is, I knew I was doing it, but I thought, you know what, I need a bit of comfort food. So I ended up having some cream eggs and then I ate some donuts or something like that. Just like, you know, my kids are off school, so they've had the odd treat and so's mum. <laughs> and so this morning I woke up and I was like, you know what, this is no good because that kind of attitude is what's going to make you have to wear black the entire summer because you didn't get a somebody. <laughs> So I was like, right, I'm going to go down and weigh myself and see what the damage is. And to be honest, after everything I've eaten over the last couple of days, I was pretty damn sure I would have completely undone January. So I stepped on the scales this morning and would you believe it? I've lost two pounds. I have actually lost two pounds. Like, how does that happen? <laughs> so I was like... Oh, well, that's great. I mean, I can do a cream egg diet, no problem. <laughs> but no, I'm seeing it as, well, I don't even know how it happened, but I am seeing it as a, a chance to kind of get back on track, that I've not done too much damage, that, you know, I feel like, oh, I've undone everything that I did in January. So I am going to be good and I'm going to get back to it. I've actually had quite a good day today, it's not been too bad, but I had to laugh yesterday because we went into Tesco's and now I am just like the worst person for coming down with bugs and whenever my kids pick something up, if it's the snivels or anything, it doesn't matter how clean my house is, I mean I keep a really clean house anyway, but if the kids are ever ill, I'm always like doubly, you know, on top of spraying things down and going absolutely ballistic with bleach and things like that. But I always pick everything up, no matter what. So obviously being as ill as I was in January, I've just been really cautious. And especially when I'm out in public. <laughs> Yesterday, I was shopping in Tesco's and my youngest daughter was like, she was running up and down this aisle. And um, I turned around to sort of like give her a shout to catch up with us. And as I turned around, this, these two blokes kind of walked past me and one did this almighty cough, which was like, it was gross. You know, like one of those really, mm, like turn your stomach coughs, like he was really ill. Oh my god, I can't stop laughing. In that moment, I just held my breath. <laughs> Turned round and just covered my face with my coat <laughs> in the middle of Tesco, which is like a huge supermarket. And I was just like, don't breathe. All I could think was, don't breathe, don't breathe, don't breathe. Just like, <laughs> I think I've taken it to the extremes, but honestly, guys, I am so worried about catching something that I'm just, like, probably being a little bit irrational. But I've got to look after myself. I've got to be able to talk. I can't afford to lose my voice anymore. It's just ridiculous. So, yeah, that was, like, fun and games yesterday in Tesco's because my kids were like, uh, Mum, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll tell you... I'll tell you after, I can't breathe at the moment. <laughs> anyway, coming back to the build, I am currently working on the first apartment, which is the one 
downstairs and I literally went through the entire building process because I felt like my initial thoughts for this particular apartment evolved so much than that rather than me editing it all out and it looking straightforward, I'd just keep it all in so you can figure out and see for yourself just how I came up with this particular sort of layout. Because the layout in this one was going to be exactly the same layout as I used for the second floor and the third floor. Now, even though I wanted to make them identical, because I kind of feel like that's how it would be in a normal house. You know, you wouldn't have a completely different layout. Well, you would do. I suppose it depends on the house. But anyway, I decided to do them the same. Um, but in the second and the, the third floor sort of apartments, I did want to do them slightly different. So I decided to use, you know, different kind of colour accents in each of the apartments to try, try and kind of, like they're the same, but they're not, if that makes sense. <laughs> Gosh, I talk just utter shite. Like, I don't even know if anyone even makes it to this part of my videos. But if you do, I start to get a little bit delirious. <laughs> but it was actually really late when I started playing university last night. And initially, straight off the bat, I didn't like it. <laughs> I just... Um, I need more time. It was really, really late last night and I think I was just really tired. And so I'm going to do that tonight. I'm literally not building tonight. I'm just going to, well, I'm telling a lie because I've already started building today. But tonight I'm going to go in and play some university and just really understand exactly how it works so that the next kind of university style housing that I do, I'll have a better knowledge on you know, how to lay things out. But I'm hoping this will work, you know, I'm hoping that it can still be used and, you know, that if you move Sims into these houses that they'd be, you know, quite happy and comfortable and be able to achieve everything they need to academically. But I'm actually glad that I managed to get this particular build out of the way because, not out of the way, but done, because it's something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. So it's also nice that I've managed to incorporate it into the sort of university world because I've done, I think I did a London townhouse like right at the beginning of my channel. It was such a long time ago. And I think I did that over in Newcrest. I remember thinking at the time, it kind of, just sort of looked a bit out of place but it's nice that we've now got a world where we can build these styles of buildings in because I know two of my friends both Hey Harry and Sim Architecture love building in this particular style and they do it so well I mean they are absolute legends at building in this style and they also sometimes occasionally use CC from um, Felix as well who is an amazing CC creator and he does a lot of extra content which is in this particular style so it's nice that we've now got a world dedicated to it because it means that they've got a world that they can build beautiful beautiful houses in. But yeah, so I think the screenshots at the end will show this particular apartment as being a single apartment and it's not, it's a double one. So I ended up taking out, I think I took out the fireplace and the bookcases. No, I didn't. I kept them in. I took away the table and the chair and the plant and I kind of put another bed beside it. So it's a little bit of a squeeze, but to be fair, the house is that big that there's absolutely loads of room in this house for four sims on their own quite comfortably. Um, it's just kind of squeezing in that one bathroom, <laughs> but you can't have it all, can you? But thank you so much for watching this video if you've got this far. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, it'd be amazing to have you on board. Just someone else I can chew the ear off. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.